What's up, people? Quick update to my minor rig. So that's my 3090 gigabyte Aorus Extreme. The thing I added was a radiator stand, so I was able to move just the GPU radiator from out of the case and mount the CPU radiator back on the case. So that way, um, it just didn't look. It doesn't look too messy. What I'm about to do is modify their water block. So I bought the Bisky single side uh, water block bridge that has that LED display right here. I mean, I just double side taped it there for right now, but I figured out a way to use this with an active back, back plate because this right here wouldn't allow you to use an active back, back plate because it's only for the single side, which is the GPU core for the top um, top side memory modules they have a active back plate that has the ports on the top so it's like two holes right there and then so you wouldn't have to worry about the GPU um, the water box bridge being one whole unit so you'll just be able to use this run a line from the top to the water outlet or inlet whatever which way you choose it and then move this to over there so that way you will be able to use this because this this is the one that houses the um the little LCD screen that gives you like the temperature and stuff. I also ordered the modular Leon Lee case fans that has the RGB on it just like that, but it's modular. So one fan connects to all of the fans, and then it's just one one cable, you know, that runs to. I think they also have a, um. A box that you can switch the RGB so that's the this is the stand right here because I have another water cooling kit for my other 3090 which is a gigabyte Oris master that's in my living room um, I'm also going to water cool that card now don't be confused if you do order this off Aliexpress because they have different versions for the gigabyte Oris extreme and the Oris Master, but they both work. Like, this is actually an Oris Master's kit, and it works on an extreme. So, I don't know why they have two separate SKUs, but it is what it is. So, that's why I made this video. Now, I'm going to run downstairs, and someone wanted to see my ASIC mining setup, so I'll be right back. Okay, so this is my refrigerator. As you can see, I don't know if the lights, yeah, the lights going to come on. So, this is my refrigerator. It's mining on Kudo Miner. It doesn't make much money, but hey, whatever. I mean, it's gotta stay on anyway, right? Over here you have a ASIC miner, which is an L3. I flashed it with the L3++ firmware. This is doing almost about 600 mega hash on um, Litecoin and Dogecoin. Okay, in here, so, this top one, which I had to break down because this one has been giving me a lot of issues. A lot of boards have died already. But that's an Aladdin T1. It's advertised at 32 terahash. It does 32 terahash when all the boards were working. But this thing is like highly unstable. It just, it, the boards break so easily. So it's a good miner. It's, it's one of the, my first ones that lasts a long time. But unfortunately, about three of the boards already died. It's six, no, wait a minute. How many boards are this? Yeah, two, no, two boards died, I think. Two or three boards died, something like that. Anyway, I think it's like six boards a piece. On, uh, it's a double barrel, but I broke it down to a single barrel and only one board on this side is working. So it's a good board. It does like 25 terahash right now. No, 20, 20. So that means two boards are broken. Okay, so 20 terahash but it's advertised for uh, 32, but it just doesn't. Now this is a, also um, one of my OGs. This one is an Aladdin L2. Now this one is good quality, never gave me any issues whatsoever. And this one does, it is advertised at 30 terahash, but for some reason, I've never seen this go 30. I've seen it go up to maybe about 28, because I know it's plus or minus five. 
but I've never seen it go 30. So take that with a grain of salt. But this one is good quality. It's never had any issues. So you can rely on this one. Down here, this is my Aladdin, I mean, sorry, my Lovecore A1 Pro. These are very highly unstable. They're advertised at 25 terahash, but I've seen it go up to, I've seen it go up to as high as 38, but it's just not stable. It's all over the board. I've seen it go down to 15. It just jumps all around the place. They say if you go on AliExpress or Alibaba, well, Alibaba doesn't sell them anymore, but you go on AliExpress and it says uh, 25 terahash and it's an A1 Pro, don't believe them because it's just a stock A1 and they just put an A1 Pro stick on it just to charge you more money. So don't believe that crap. These things should only be about $700. This one's still a little bit expensive because it's good quality. That one's still a little bit expensive because it does 32 terahash. This is at 200 and 2200 watts, 2200 watts, 2200 watts. This should be because it's using two power supplies. This one should be at, uh, I'm going to say anywhere between 1,800 watts, maybe maybe a little more, 2,000 watts. Okay. There's another two L3s. These don't really make any money like that anymore because of the market so far down. But they're all they're all doing around uh, 600 mega hash. So in total, I should have, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, 17, 1,800 tera, um, um, mega hash on Litecoin and Dogecoin. So that's pretty much my mining setup. Now, as far as heat dissipation, I mean, I have the window frame. I took it out. I just put two screens behind it. So this is pushing all the hot air out the, out the window. I also have a fan here blowing cold air that comes in from that, that window, blowing cold air into the miner. They don't really get that hot anyway. Most of them stay around 60, 70 degrees Celsius. And also have the ceiling fan on at all times. Okay, and last but not least, I know this looks kind of crazy. Gotta excuse the mess. But this is my uh, Gigabyte Oris Extreme. I mean, Oris Master, sorry. This one does 125 mega hash on Ethereum. But this one will be water cooled tomorrow, so. I won't have to have this huge fan, cheap Walmart fan blowing on it because it'll be water cooled. And that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. If you have any more questions. Oh, let me show you the temperature. Sorry. So this is the Gigabyte Ors Master. It's at 82 uh, C right now Celsius. It's about, mm, I don't know, about 70 degrees in my house right now. I mean, I do have a thermostat. Let me go check. See the temperature in my house. Oh no, it's actually yeah, it's about 70 degrees in here, 75, something like that. So that's not the one that's water cooled. That one just had I just changed the thermal uh, pads and it's pretty good. This is the water cooled 3090 right here, 74 degrees Celsius. It no, I don't even have to have this fan in front of it, honestly. If I just took it away, it still, it still would stay at 74. This one down here at the bottom, which is at 94, that is this card. That is a RTX 3080. That's a Asus Gaming Tough 3080. So you have a Gigabyte Aorus Extreme. You have a Gigabyte Aorus Master. And my GE... MSI GE 76 Raider. This is an OG laptop that I would never get rid of. And this one does 68 point, I've not seen it go up, 68.75 mega hash on them. Nice hash, as you can see. So, I would never get rid of this one. I did have three laptops. I had a um, Zephyrus, Rock Zephyrus dual um, 15SE and I had a um, Lenovo Legion 5 Pro so I got rid of those I'm going to buy one more ASIC miner which is another love core and then I'm pretty much done for right now so thanks for watching if you have any questions let me know later